So Jack, having produced Bruce Dickinson's solo record, Skunk Works, what was it like working with him in the studio? How did he approach recording vocals? You just put a mic in front of him and let him rip. I mean, you know, he's fucking Bruce Dickinson. He's got the voice. As soon as I put the 87 on him, and I'm not a big fan of the, the Neumann U87. I think the mic is a little nasal and it doesn't work with most singers that I use it on. It tends to sound a little strident, but he said that's the one that Martin Birch used on him. And I said, well, it's good enough for Martin Birch. It's good enough for me. Now, it must be said that the guy who produced most of the classic Iron Maiden records, his name is Martin Birch. Um, and I think we just lost him a year or two ago, which was sort of tragic because I was a big, as a record producer myself, I'm a big fan of those who have gone before me. You know, some of the classic names, I mean, Glenn Johns is one that I always uh, think about. And Andy Johns, of course. George Martin, you can't say enough good things about him. And um, Martin Birch being one of my favorites for not only the Maiden records, but much earlier, a couple of Groundhogs records that are some of my very favorite albums of all time, as well as many of the classic Deep Purple albums, which I think is probably why Iron Maiden ended up working with Martin Birch in the first place is because they were all huge Deep Purple and Ian Gillen fans. I think Made in Japan is probably one of uh, the favorite uh, Deep Purple albums of Bruce, which of course Iron Maiden made a, a live EP called Maiden Japan actually as a as homage to that. So, you know, I got a little education in Iron Maiden actually while working with him because, you know, I'm not a huge Iron Maiden fan. I have a couple of their albums and I think Peace of Mind is their classic. It was a great album, just a good rock record with not a bad song on it and perfect production. Hey guys, if you want to see the full interview, the link is available in the description box below.